Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Bitfumes. In this episode, we are going to learn about the data tables. Data tables are extremely important if you are dealing with a large amount of data. If you have to manipulate all these data, then you have to have these data tables in your system, in your project. So, let's get into these and learn about how to implement a data table in your project. So, first what we are going to do, we just have to go to datatables.net. This is the website name datatable.net. You have to just go to that website and just go to download sections because we have to have these two files that is one for a CSS file and second is a JavaScript file. So for CSS file just copy this CSS link tag and paste it in our project. So for that and we need a project that means we need an index file. For that I will open my sublime text here. I am on that folder and in that folder I will create a new file called index.php. Now in this file I will just create some markup and make it a data table title. Okay, now we have done and what we have to do we have to just make a container and in that container make a row and in that row we need a table with a table class okay and in that table we need a table head with five oh no six i think six table head and with that inside the table that this plus sign means we are on this table tag and in that table tag we also need a table footer that called t foot and obviously this is also six and after that we need a t body simply and in t body we will place our data we will press tab and we will get these things and we will put our data data head that means the first is name second is uh, position third is uh, i think uh, we can do it another way it's a smarter way so this is name oops name this is position this is office then age then is start 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 date then salary okay this is done okay so what we have to do we have to just include these two files just i have shown you these two files are this css file okay the css file i will copy this css file and i will paste and i will paste this in our head and this is a cdn file so you don't need to actually have a file that means this link tag just directly download from website given in the link here okay so like this we just have to we just have to copy this uh, oops, this javascript file and we have to paste it at the bottom okay but for these things to work that these are javascripts so we need a jquery so jquery cdn okay now jquery cdn this looks like good and it's opened and this is uh, we, we will have uh, minified version we, it's good minified version so copy the script tag whole and remember to put this javascript tag before everything that means whenever your page loads a javascript file loaded firstly after any other javascript 
okay because every other java script file need jquery to work so i will just zoom it out for better view okay this is <laughs> jumbo view okay now so i think we have done everything and we can just check it okay so we will i will go to oops oops i will go to local host then uh, tutorials then database and here is not semicolon it's slash oops another data not database it's data table <laughs> okay okay yeah this is the data table but here there is no table actually so we can check what we have done incorrect we have done incorrect that we have implemented these files but we have not connected this table with these files that means we have to connect for that i will just give it a id and for with that id i will just call a script when the document ready i will just give it like this uh, you have to put a, a data table uh, function and just and now look at this after i refresh after i reload this page get we will get the exact data table so go yo we will got the data table but there is no data so for that i will have data in advance so i will put this data inside my body tag and now when I refresh and when I re reload this you will get the magic of this data table and this is like this oh very nice we have the data table we just need nothing nothing so it has paginations in it wow very nice yeah we have showing entries 50 oops 50 very nice and we have the special search bar you can search anything I have typed L O N London and this only represent the learning data if you want something else like software engineer it's also available it's so fantastic okay so I think this is the very first episode and Please, please connect with me. I will show you every, each and everything about the data tables. And please do subscribe. Subscribe for more updates about the data tables. Subscribe for the magic of the data table. And most importantly, subscribe for the new updates. Thank you.